Hello booktube! Okay, so I'm pretty excited for this video, not as much because of the content of it, but because I just got an amazing shout out from one of my favorite booktubers, um, Paul Reads. I'll link him down below. If you're coming from his channel, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I got so excited when I saw this morning that he gave me a shout out and I was like, wow! Because <laughs> I feel like I'm actually starting to become part of this community now, which is really crazy and cool. Even though I have like 18 subscribers, but for me, that's a big deal. So, um, okay, so today I'm going to be doing a haul and a bit of a currently reading because I didn't haul that much. Um, but yeah, these are books that I bought in August. Um, and I didn't real I didn't buy a lot of books, which I was surprised about because normally it's like hard for me to keep myself from buying books, but... I think it was mostly because um, I had bought so many in New York that when I came back I was like, wow, I spent a lot of money and I'm going to not do that now. <laughs> so, yes. Um, okay, so let's get into it. So, um, first I have one, and this is one of the ones that I'm like really, really pumped about. Um, this is The Notorious RBG. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know I love Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She is one of my definitely one of my favorite people and I look up to her so much and I wish I could be doing what she is doing. Um, so and I might go and follow in her footsteps and do law. We'll see. But this is, um, so it's the life and times of Ruth Bader Ginsburg and it goes, it has a really cute little like, I don't know what this is even called in the books, but like before it actually starts, like the page before, it has this, which is like her little collar things that she wears, which are really cute. And she has like 30. Um, highly recommend RBG, the documentary about her, if you haven't seen it. But um, it goes from like history to like random memes and like, it's just, oh, it's so interesting and cool. And there she is. What a beautiful gal. Um, so I'm so, so excited to read this. And it's so beautiful. And it was kind of expensive. It was about $30, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm excited to read it. Um, and I've been looking for it, at, uh, for it since I saw the documentary, but they didn't sell it in my bookstore, um, until recently. So, they sold it when it first came out, but for whatever reason they stopped. So, now I have it. Um, okay. And the next I have 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which I don't have with me. Um, this one I actually DNF'd, and I don't DNF books a lot. Um, I didn't finish it because I wasn't that into it. I like some, like the writing style is beautiful, and I might read, um, some of Jules Verne's other books, but this one didn't do it for me. Um, it was a lot of just random fish facts and things that I didn't really care about. And, like, I wasn't that into any of the characters, so I just kind of gave up. So, if you've read it and you loved it, tell me down below and maybe I'll pick it up again. Because I have it, so why not? Um, okay, and then another book that I'm very, very excited for, um, that, or excited about but I lent it to my friend, is The Princess Diarist, and this I did a full review of. Go watch it there. I adored this book, and I highly recommend it to anyone ever. Read it now. Um, it's about, um, it's a memoir from Carrie Fisher, who of course is Princess Leia, and it's about um, the filming of the movie, and yeah, it's really, really incredible and well-written, and I want to read more of Carrie Fisher's writing. Um, Okay, and then I'm going to do my currently reading, because I didn't want to just give you three books. Um, I'm currently reading The White Album by Joan Didion, um, and this is an essay collection, which I am bought because I wanted to do the Book Riot um, Read Harder Challenge of Read an Essay Collection, and I heard that Joan Didion is amazing. So, oh, my nails match. Wow. <laughs> and it... Uh, yeah, it's an essay collection, and I've read one of the essays, and my L.A. literature class is actually reading a lot of it. Um, I just read The Bureaucrat's Essay, which, um, is about Caltrans and the freeway system, and the really strange and warped way Caltrans, um, runs their company. So, it's really interesting, and I already love her writing, and I've read maybe five pages of it, so <laughs> I'm a big fan. Um... 
I'm also reading Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell, which I saw a really, really great review of on um, Ink and Paper blog. Um, I can't remember the name of the guy that does it, but I'll link that below. Um, and I was, so I started it and I wasn't that into it because the first, like, so it shifts point of views throughout the book, but the first two points of views were not super interesting. At least the first one, I was like, what is this? I don't like this writing style. But once you get to the later ones and it moves farther in the future, it becomes so good. So I'm loving that and I don't want it to end. I've been kind of procrastinating on it because of that. Um, and then another book that I'm also loving right now, I'm loving all the books. It's great. It's what a good reading month, <laughs> is... Um, Gone Girl by, um, I don't remember the name of the author, but I'll put it below. Um, I should remember it. Gillian Flynn, or Gillian Flynn, I don't know which, but, um, she wrote Gone Girl, and I'm, like, loving it. Like, it's, it's a thriller, it's the wife disappears, and then, oh my god, I'm afraid I'm gonna spoil it, but I want to talk about it so bad, and I cannot wait to review it, so stay tuned for that review. Um, and I'm listening to that on audiobook. And I like the audiobook because as it shifts perspectives, the wife's voice and the um, husband's voice like are narrated by a man and a woman. So it's not just that weird audiobook thing where like like people of opposite genders try to like impersonate others' voices because it always ends up sounding kind of weird. Um so I'm loving that. Highly recommend that. I can already tell that I'm gonna give it a great review. <laughs> So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye!